Now we continue to look into the Paw Sox sale and the new owner's plan to move the team to Providence. The proposed location for a new stadium is on a parcel of land freed up by the 195 relocation project. So we wanted to learn more about all the land uncovered by the highway move. Target 12 investigator Walt Buto is here now with the details. If the Paw Sox proposal moves forward, it would be the third deal involving land uncovered when 195 was moved. There are just under 19 acres of land for sale in the 195 redevelopment district, cut up into 16 parcels. The sale of two parcels are pending right now. Parcel 8, under agreement for $750,000. Parcel 28, under agreement for $2.7 million. Both deals are contingent on tax stabilization agreements that would keep property taxes artificially low for the owners. Public support for that. The new owners of the Paw Sox are looking for a tax stabilization deal as well. For a plot of land made up of two acres now owned by Brown, and all are part of what is known as P4, about five acres set aside for parks, in this agreement with the Federal Highway Administration and Rye. So while state leaders have said they hope to attract businesses with high paying jobs to this area, the Paw Sox new president tells us this on Newsmakers. The land that we're talking about uh, was never intended to be the land to produce the high paying jobs. The land for the most part that we're talking about was open space. But sources close to the redevelopment district tell Target 12 if acreage for the stadium is carved out of that P4 park area, open space would have to be created somewhere else in the district. That would mean five of the district's 19 acres would be taken up by the Paw Sox unless the open space agreement is changed. Tucket land records indicate McCoy Stadium, as in just the ballpark, covers one acre of land. The entire facility, including parking, a fire station, and a high school football field, is more than 23 acres. A spokesperson for the redevelopment district tells us there have been no formal proposals from the Paw Sox new owners yet. With the Target 12 investigators, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.